Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about the DM10 ball valve and why you need one for your pressure washing setup. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please take a minute and hit that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Even if it's just to say hello, I will respond to you. Let's get into today's video. DM10 ball valve kind of goes along with the uh, video I did on the Hudson float valve and why it's important for a professional pressure washing setup. So the DNTM ball valve is pretty much the industry standard for pressure washing setups. There's cheaper ones out there. Um, you can buy one off of eBay, Amazon, whatever. It's not a DN10, but it's the right size for your pressure washing setup, but it's not going to last. There's no telling how many hours this thing has on it, how much, how many jobs it's done. You can see it's been through war and it's uh, still holding on. But pretty much basically why you need a DN10 or a ball valve on your setup is... When you've got a hose, this is 200 feet of hose on this reel. By the way, I'm in the process of setting this trailer up. So uh, hit that subscribe button and be sure to check back. I'm going to be showing how I set this up to use it for my business. Anyway, 200 feet of hose. If you got this pulled out and you're doing a job and you need to change out from your surface cleaner back to your wand or your wand to your surface cleaner or whatever you may need, you've got to put your hose down, walk all the way back to your trailer or truck, Turn off your pressure washer, walk back to the end of the hose where you were working, change out whatever, walk back to your truck or trailer, crank it back up, wasting a lot of time. Pretty simple thing to do is to have a ball valve on there. I really need to get a I really need to get a tripod to do videos. But anyway, so now you got your ball valve on here. So say using the wand, or let's say I'm using the surface cleaner on some cement. I got my 200 feet of hose stretched out and I get up to a corner or a narrow spot that I can't get with the surface cleaner and now I need to put the wand on to finish up the job. Instead of walking all the way back to the trailer or truck, all I got to do is turn that valve. Now it is off and that is cutting my water supply off. There's no pressure on the tip on the metal end here of my fitting. I can unhook my surface cleaner, wand, whatever I'm using, hook up what I need to use click it on open it back up I've got water again so instead of making 10 trips back and forth to the truck you just turn the ball valve off turn it back on turn it off turn it back on however how many times you need to do you can also use this for uh, rinsing down without a tip you just without a wand or anything you just let the water come out of here you adjust the ball valve for how much pressure or spray you want and let it go where it's good for rinsing down stuff when you need to um, gives you good water flow or whatever but Simple, that's why you need a DN10 ball valve on your setup. A little more professional setup instead of walking back and forth to the truck or, you know, things like that. It's, it's a time saver. comes in real handy. And that's all it is to it. Once again, thank you for watching the video. If you have a minute, hit that subscribe button. Leave a thumbs up for the video. Leave me a comment. It really helps the channel out. Help me get this thing growing a little bit here over the winter. And uh, I'm going to have this trailer build. Uh, coming up on here to show you a few things I'm doing on that to make it work for me and maybe some ideas that work for other people. Thanks for tuning in.